Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Wednesday, March the 21st. I'm Rafi Barajan, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. The US dollar uh, has come off uh, its three weeks highs uh, from yesterday, so it's still standing fairly firm against other major currencies uh, ahead of that all important uh, FOMC announcement due later today, uh, where investors will be looking at the uh, latest quarterly. Uh, projections, uh, particularly the dot plot chart. Uh, the pound came under pressure yesterday from uh, softer than expected inflation uh, numbers. The euro is also weaker, uh, as well as the Australian and the New Zealand dollars, uh, common dealing currencies, uh, are feeling the pressure of, uh, amid uh, rising fears of a trade war between the US and China. The Canadian dollar, uh, as well as the Mexican pe peso, are exceptions uh, amid uh, some renewed hopes uh, regarding uh, the NAFTA renegotiation. So let's get started now, taking a quick look at the markets. We can see uh, the euro uh, and the pound uh, moving away from yesterday's uh, lows uh, against the US dollar uh, and the the US dollar itself is slightly weaker uh, this morning. Uh, the Aussie has managed to crawl up at the moment. The Kiwi, though, remains uh, in the red. Uh, we can see gold prices are rising despite uh, the expectations that uh, the Fed will raise rates later today. If we take a look at stocks, though, we can see uh, most indices are in the red despite the fact that yesterday Wall Street managed to uh, close up. Uh, let's get started now with the US dollar. We can see uh, the dollar index uh, reaching uh, three-week highs uh, of 90.45 yesterday. Dollar yen uh, rose to a one-week high of 106.60. Uh, both uh, have since drifted lower, uh, but the expectations are that the Fed will raise rates by a quarter of a percentage point later today. Uh, but what's going to be more important will be uh, the updated dot plot chart, uh, where it's expect expected that um, the, the median forecast will remain at three rate hikes for 2018, uh, with a slight uh, bias for four rate hikes. If you do, if you do see a more hawkish uh, dot plot chart, that could potentially uh, boost the dollar. Uh, but uh, could upset uh, equity and uh, bond uh, markets. Uh, there are risks, though, for the dollar other than uh, today's FOMC decision. Uh, the US is expected to announce on Friday uh, fresh tariffs on China, uh, and we could also see a another government shut down if the Congress fails to finalize uh, that $1.3 billion spending plan it had agreed on um, earlier in February. Uh, so uh, those are potential risks down the line uh, for the US uh, currency. Uh, let's now turn our attention to the euro and the pound. We can see the euro did fall rather sharply yesterday. Uh, that was partly on the back of uh, a rebound in the US dollar, but also uh, we did see a very weak view economic sentiment index coming out of Germany, um, raising fears that uh, the rising trade tensions are dampening business morale uh, in the eurozone's largest economy. We saw the single currency uh, slipping to a three-week low of 1.2237. The view economic sentiment index uh, plunged to 5.1 in March, that was a one and a half year low. Uh, on Thursday, we're going to see the flash euros and PMIs uh, for March, as well as the German IFO. Uh, if, all, if those also point to uh, weakening in uh, euros and business confidence, we could see the euro coming under further pressure. The pound, though, um, is recovering from yesterday's dip below the 1.40 level. It had reached a one month high on Monday on the back of that Brexit transition deal. Uh, but yesterday, we saw UK inflation. Uh, uh, slowing more, more than expected in February to 2.7% year-on-year forecast were for 2.8%. Uh, also important are going to be today's employment and wage figures. Uh, if we do see um, um, more weak numbers out of today's employment report, uh, that could uh, cast doubt about the Bank of England signaling a rate hike as early as May uh, when it meets tomorrow for its uh, scheduled monetary policy uh, meeting. Expectations are that the Bank of England will keep rates unchanged, uh, but uh, 
they could it is uh, fairly widely expected that the bank will signal a rate hike as early as may uh though uh like i said uh, today's numbers as well as retail sales numbers due tomorrow uh, those could play a role as to which way the bank will go uh moving on to the australian and new zealand dollars both currencies uh are under pressure the Aussie hit a three months low of 0.7676 versus the US dollar yesterday the kiwi touched a 10 week low of 0.7166 um so this is mainly on the back of um expectation that president trump on friday will announce uh new tariffs uh, on china amounting to 60 billion dollars uh, that could potentially lead to a full scale uh, trade war between the two nations and that would have a negative impact on australian exports uh, not just to china but uh, in the region overall uh, so that's what's been uh, dragging the australian dollar lower uh, in recent weeks uh, the kiwi had been a bit more resilient but yesterday we did see dairy prices falling for the third straight auction uh, we had the global bi-weekly dairy auction yesterday prices fell by over one percent so we saw that having a quite a strong impact on the kiwi um, uh, and uh, it, it sort of falls in line with uh, the uh, negative impact we're seeing uh, from trade on other commodities as well uh, and uh, but that comes ahead of the RBNZ uh, announcement later today or Thursday, depending on your time zones. Uh, if we do see the RBNZ maintaining an optimistic outlook, uh, the Kiwi might get a, a bit of a, a lift from that. On the other hand, um, if the RBNZ fails to, uh, if they lower their inflation or growth forecast that could be uh, negative uh, and uh, for Australia we also have job numbers coming up uh, as well so that will also uh, the Aussie will also be sensitive uh, to that data uh, the exception from all this was the Canadian dollar it had uh, fallen to an eight, eight and a half months low on Monday uh, but uh, Despite the fact that the US dollar has been strengthening overall, the, the loony uh, has been managing to recover from that, uh, rising to as high as 1.30 um, to the greenback um, yesterday. Uh, so there, there, there are some reports that are saying that the US uh, has a is softening its stance regarding a contentious issue in the NAFTA talks uh, with regards to uh, Canadian and Mexican vehicle exports uh, to the US. Uh, so that has boosted hopes that uh, some sort of an agreement will be reached on re renegotiating uh, NAFTA. Uh, higher oil prices also may have been helping the loony as well yesterday. Uh, the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince visited the US, uh, taking a tough stance on Iran. Uh, so th those rising tensions between Saudi Arabia and re Iran have been boosting oil prices over the past couple of days. We also had the API report yesterday showing weekly crude stocks in the US unexpectedly uh, dropped, uh, and also reports circulating that OPEC uh, is still expecting for the oil market to balance by the third quarter of 2018. So all of that, uh, yes, they helped WTI crude jump by 2.6%. It's currently trading around $63.70 uh, a barrel. Uh, and looking at today's economic calendar, we can see the job Num uh, job numbers out of the UK will be the main data in the European session. Uh, in the US session, we're going to have existing home sales. Uh, then that the all important FOMC decision at, at 18 hours GMT, as well as Jerome Powell's first press conference as Fed chair at 18:30 GMT, and the RBNZ decision to follow at 18 at 20 hours uh, GMT. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.